What's popping YouTube? Welcome here to this breeding guide. Uh, it's the first time I'm trying to do something like this, so hopefully it goes well. Uh, I've written down a bunch of notes uh, for stuff that I want to go through and need to go through uh, and to explain you that it ain't that hard to breed. It ain't that it ain't that difficult. I'm gonna be real. It's not. It's, it's really not difficult. Um, I'm trying to do this a little bit organized. Um, hopefully, it will it will be received well. Uh, I haven't tried to do this. I'm trying to branch a little bit off from doing Let's Plays. So hopefully this sits with you guys who are already subscribed. If not, then that's it, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how to start. I'm not sure how to start these stuff, but uh, breeding. Um, if you want to do competitive and not use rental team, if you want to build your own team from the ground, that maybe you can rental to other people and stuff like that, and uh, do all your own stuff, then this is the beginning of that. that I'm gonna I'm gonna have a follow up video about how to EV train um, and get your Pokemon ready with egg moves and all that other stuff. Because, uh, like, this is more about just breeding them, get the good IVs. Get the good nature, uh, get them ready, and then the next video is making them actually battle ready. Getting egg moves, EVs, other moves, TRs, all that sort of stuff. Um, I will also touch on hidden abilities here. Uh, I will. So let me go through really quick. I have four main things that I want to go through. Uh, ditto, big thing. That is the first thing we're gonna go through. How to obtain ditto, uh, and how to, because there says. I'm gonna get more to that, but Ditto comes first, then Nature, how to get the right nature in your Pokemon, uh, items, breeding items, what they do, what you use them for, and how to use them, and the other thing is Procedure, which is my way of breeding, and breeding my Pokemon competitive ready. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of competitive content up here as well, I'm gonna make a series as well, where I basically breed a whole team, uh, go through the procedure of breeding a whole team competitively and getting it ready so if you want that make sure you stick around um but without further ado let's just you know let's move into it all right this is, i haven't touched this in a while cool okay so first things first ditto uh i have my ditto here uh don't note the items yet don't care about those uh this is not mine i didn't obtain it originally myself of course uh, the original trainer is called Original trainer is called Nanami. Um, is one of my friends that uh, traded it for me. So, pretty cool. Uh, this is, of course, if I go to box here, you can see that this here is indeed a 6 IV ditto. Uh, it is the best you can get. It doesn't really have a nature, but that doesn't matter. Um, it can matter if you wanted to, but if you want a good ditto, uh, I would, I would if, I, if I were you, I would not care about the nature. I'm going to get more into that when I talk about natures. But first of all, dittos. Why is ditto so important? Ditto is important. Uh, this is the beginner's guide. So I'm going to go into... Uh, I'm going to go very into detail even about basic things. So ditto. Ditto can breed with every Pokemon that isn't in the undiscovered egg group. Uh, which is usually legendaries. Uh, recently, these fossils for this gen is in there, and mythical Pokemon, uh, I believe Ultra Beasts as well. If I'm not, if I'm not, I'm gonna link it in the description. The undiscovered egg group uh, in Zerebi, so you can see everything that it cannot breed with. But apart from that, it can breed with everything. Everything it can breed with, except also baby Pokemon. It cannot breed with baby Pokemon because baby Pokemon cannot breed at all because they're babies. It would not doesn't make sense. So, ditto. It can literally breed with everything. Right? It can breed with all these Pokemon we have here. It can breed with all of them. Why is that important? Well, it means that you only have... Instead, like let's say normally I would want to breed Arcanine. Then I would need to get Arcanine with really good IVs to breed. And then say I want to go Lucario next. Then I would have to get a Lucario with really good IVs next. But if you have a ditto, you don't need to keep getting good IVs of the different Pokemon you want to breed. You can just have your ditto and you'll be fine. That's ditto. Uh, that's what it does. That's what it do. That's why it's really good to have one. 
and I'm going to show you the method of obtaining it in this game. Very easy, it doesn't require a lot. So, the placement of the ditto, you want to fly to Bridgefield, uh, which is the nursery that is close here. I usually use this other nursery because um, I will go through that when we get to items and EV training and all that. Uh, I'll do that. I'll, I'll get to that in the next video. Why I choose that that other position, um, according to this. But if you get here, all you want to do is you want to go this way. Uh, you can speed up your bike. You want to get over to this den. This den, of course. When I'm recording, this has to happen, right? Of course it does. <laughs> Look at this jiggly boy. Uh, let me just run. Can we run, please? Cool. Thanks. Awesome. Cool. Uh, but this den here, you can find this online. This den is called the Den 66. This is the only den in the game that spawns dittos. The only den. Um, you want to make sure that you get yourself some wishing pieces for uh, hunting this. I have 34. You can get, you can buy them for what um, as a specific vendor. I'm not. I should have checked out where he is, but I'm not exactly sure where he is. Um, I will definitely leave a, leave a link in the description um, that explains where he is. So make sure, make sure the description is very important in this video. Make sure you check it out. Um, but you want to have wishing pieces, and what you want to do is you want to go to options and put it to slow. This is very important. This is going to give you enough time to essentially uh, cheat the game in a way. It's it's not exactly a cheat. It's a more of an exploit, right? So. If you go here to this den, uh, let's just go to the den, all the way up, you want to save your game beforehand as well, after you make your changes, you want to save your game, and then you want to click on it, right? It doesn't seem to be anything in the den, you want to throw in a wishing piece. Here you're going to say yes, would you like to save your adventure so far? You say yes to this, and then you will see the beam come up, and if it's red, if it's, uh, and if, if it's not purple, you want to exit the game, close the software, and just close it down and you want to reboot because then it didn't the thing is that it didn't actually save the game so you didn't use your wishing piece and you didn't spawn in a pokemon and in this den it's since it's also the only den that spawns ditto the purple beam has a hundred percent chance of being a ditto uh it doesn't have hundred percent chance to be a five star it could be three to five but it's usually a five star i'm gonna try a few more times to see if we can get the um the purple the purple beam it, it might take a few tries usually it's about, about like five and on average it's about five on average i'm gonna give it just gonna give it a few more but if you keep doing this the purple beam will come up and it's gonna be a ditto uh, of course you're gonna battle that you're gonna catch it and then it will have between most commonly it will have four ivs but it will have between four to six so you might need to spend some time doing this but it's very important that you do this if you want to breed, uh, if you want to breed your own team, because Ditto is the most vital piece of doing that. Um, so that's that basically. Want to do one more time here? Okay. I'm gonna move on in the video. So that is all. That's Ditto. Ooh. Ooh. That's my Elgato software. <laughs> that's my Elgato software. Very cool. Uh, the next I'm gonna go through is how to get the right nature. Uh, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, there's a few ways you can either. There's one. There's a few. You can either just find it in the wild, uh, go catch a bunch of wild Pokemon until you get the right nature of the Pokemon you want. Um, that might be difficult for some of the ones that are a lot harder to obtain, such as maybe a Dreepy um, or like Axew. It might be a little bit difficult to obtain the right nature of those if you just go can get, catch a ball at wild ones and get them but there are ways you can control this uh, there's a way if you have a trace pokemon more specifically in this game since there's no alakazam uh, you have the option of a gardevoir so what trace does for wild pokemon is if you have let's say you have a modest gardevoir with trace then every wild Pokemon you encounter with the Gardevoir at the top of your party up here, uh, not here, but if it's up here, then the wild Pokemon you encounter will have Trace. 
I mean, will be the same nature as your Trace Pokemon. Right? Um, that is how you can control. So you can you can you can go catch uh, or breed a bunch of Ralts with Trace and get a bunch of natures, and then you can go catch your wild Pokemon with the right nature that way. Uh, it's very easy. It's very simple uh, to do so. Um, you don't need to breed with any of your IVs because you have your IVs on your Ditto. You have your IVs on your Ditto. So you don't need to get any good natures on them at all. You just need to breed a bunch of them until you get a lot of different natures that you desire. With that said, the way that I do it is I usually just go ahead and begin breeding with the Ditto and the Pokemon um, straight away. And begin getting some better IVs on that Pokemon. And then I keep going until I get that desirable nature that I want. And then usually the way usually the what the right Pokemon you get with the but when you get the right nature, it will usually have pretty decent IVs. Uh, if you follow my procedure that I will go through. Um, that is the basically the way you can control natures. Now items. This is a big the items is a big thing of breeding. Uh, as you see, my Ditto is holding a Desinod. Either parent can hold a Desinod. That doesn't matter. Um, what does matter is that with, if you don't breed with a Desinod, the parents joined together will breed down three, three of their IVs. Which means it can be from any parent. It could be three from the Ditto, it could be three from the uh, other parent, it could be two from the Ditto and one from the other parent. Or it could be two from the other parent and one from the Ditto, right? That's the option you have. It could be any it could be any set. It could be two eight it could be HP and attack from Ditto and speed from the other Pokemon. It's just in any order. It could be anything. It could be special attack and, and attack from the other parent, and it could be special defense from Ditto. It could be something like that. Uh, but if you have a Destiny Knot, it will take five IVs. And it could also, again, it could be anything. It could be three from Ditto and two from the other parent. It could even be all, it could be five from the Ditto and and zero from the other parent. The last one will always be random uh, every single time. The last one will be random. So even if you have a six IV Ditto, there's a chance that two stats might not be great, which I will show off as well that... You're not secured to have good Pokemon every time you breed. Uh, however, the second item is very important. The second item is Everstone. What Everstone does is it passes down the nature of the Pokemon holding the Everstone. In this case, it's a Timid Cottony. Right? As you see here, it's holding a Everstone. This is also holding Everstone. This is an Adamant Riolu that I'm going to breathe with soon. Um, so that's pretty dope. That's good. But another thing is that the parent of the Pokemon you're breeding with, in this case the Cottony, and uh, not the Ditto obviously, but the ones you, the ch the children has a, I'm not exactly sure on the odds, but it's a higher chance of getting the ability of the parent Pokemon. So in this case, Prankster. Every breed will have a higher chance of being Prankster, right? Uh, as, we, as we can see, I can take a little look at these. See, most of these are Prankster, right? They're, some of them are inf Infiltrator, but mostly Prankster, because my, because the parent Cottony is Prankster. So the same goes for if you want to do a Hidden Ability Pokemon. You obviously want... Uh, the only way you can get Hidden Ability Pokemon in this game is by the um, Purple Dens. So you can do the same method of the as, use, um, as I use with a Ditto in order to get Hidden Ability of a Pokemon you desire. Um, in this case, there's also a bunch of discords and probably the, the Reddit as well. You can probably ask for people who has a um, hidden ability Pokemon if they have or or put a message out that you're searching for a specific hidden ability Pokemon. And usually people are pretty nice in this community. They will breed one for you or if they already have one, they will give it to you. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I will, I will leave some links to some discords in the description as well. Uh, primarily one called um, 
what they call it again. It's called the Pokemon BGC Hop and one called the BGC Academy. Uh, they have they have very nice people in there who are breeding constantly for Pokemon and they have breed jacks and whatnot. So you can very easily get some good IV Pokemon. I'm also gonna link the BGC Reddit. I'm pretty sure you can also get some stuff there, rent rental teams, whatnot. They will help you, they got you. It's cool. Don't worry about it. I got you. They got you. We all got you. We are a community. Uh, I will also be giving away free checks on stream because I am. I have a bunch of good companies here. Basically, they all have the right nature. They're all prankster. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm giving them away on streams because I'm breeding for a shiny one that I can use them competitively. Uh, so I have a bunch of really good uh, companies that I can give away. Is that it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I don't bring this too long. I'm trying to make it a little bit short. And not, I mean, it's already almost, it's almost over, it's already over 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, that is how you want to basically use items. There are other items you can use, and I will go through those really quick. Uh, boop! Here we go. Um, I'm on Cerebi. Uh, link as to this as well is gonna be in the description <laughs> Don't worry about it um, But basically uh, Power anklet band belt bracer lens and weight can all be used for breeding as well. It's not used as common I don't personally use them, but they can be used uh, So as you see here, these are diff different things here, right? Uh, this has speed. This has special defense. This has defense. This is attack Special attack and this is HP. These can be used to specifically pass down a a um a IV to the child to the child. Oh, talk, talk. Uh, so obviously, power angle can make sure that whoever is holding this will a hundred percent with a hundred percent chance pass down the speed stat uh, of itself of the Pokemon holding it. So if I were to put this on my Ditto. I instead of the Destiny Knot and breed with the Cottony that I have, uh, I would I would 100% chance get a Cottony that has perfect speed IVs and uh, is timid because of the uh, the what I'm holding. Same if I go with the special defense, I'll make sure that it's 100% special defense. So you can use these to specifically get a to get a specific stat down. Uh, this is used. I see this used a lot if people go catch a random Pokemon that to get like a no good stat or something. So let's say you want to have a Trick Room team and you want a very, a, the slowest Hatterene you can get to set Trick Room. Uh, you will get for sure, you will go get yourself a Hatterene that has no good in speed. And then you can, uh, what's it called? And you can make sure you pass down that no good speed stat to a, to a child to a child Pokemon, right? That is that is that is the goal. That's what you want. That is a hundred. That is what you want on that Hatterene. So it's used for that often. It's also used for special attackers if you want to push uh, pass down a no good attack stat uh, because of foul play is a thing. So that's another thing. That's another thing. Uh, so uh, I forgot. So that's really that. My own procedure and how I breed is I just go with my ditto. Uh, I get the right ability for the one I want. And then I begin breeding. Um, let's just say I breed with a really bad cottony that has just decent in everything. Using the uh, IV checker, the judge here. Uh, I will go show you how to get the judge as well. If you don't already have that. It's very easy to get. It doesn't take a long time. Uh, but you have to beat the game first. That is important. You have to beat the game first to get the judge. But I basically go take N Cottony, and then I breed it once with a Ditto, um, and then I get some good stats doing that. Then I breed. Then I switch out the one I'm breeding the Cottony I'm breeding with with the new one that has some good stats, and I go again until I get a five or six IV. Until I get like a decently good one. Okay, right. um, so that's that's one thing, and I mean that's that's basically it. 
right? Then you just keep going until you have a until you're breeding with a five or six IV one. Uh, I'm breeding with my five IV Cottony because I want to have low attack because of foul play. Obviously, you don't want to have high attack when you're special attackers. That is, that is that. Um, so I breed with this holding the Destiny Knot and this holding Everstone because it's a timid one. Uh, then you keep, obviously you keep going until you get the nature you want, or if you already have the nature, then you you just keep going until you get good a good mon. It usually doesn't take that long. Um, as almost the end, I'm gonna I'm gonna go show you where to get the the judge. Uh, you after you beat the game, you have to beat the game. You need to go all the way up here to the wind on. Uh, the battle tower. You want to go to the battle tower. The only thing you have to do is you have to battle and win three times to beat Leon. That is that is basically it. Uh, you just go to battle tower and you beat Leon. Uh, let me see. Let me go to the battle tower. Can you go to battle? Select the battle format. And you pick you pick single battle. And you, it, it takes six victories. Uh, you gotta get to Pokeball tier. And you just have to be... You have to play until you beat Leon. Like a, re, a little rematch with Leon. Uh, I can't tell you what Pokemon he has, because it's random. Uh, he has a few that he can choose from to bring. Uh, but he will... I'm pretty sure he always brings uh, the Cherizard. The other two are random. So get it, make sure you have a way to beat this Cherizard. And I'm pretty sure you're good to go. And then once you beat that, the uh, the lady at the desk will automatically give you uh, the judge feature that you can go use in your box. Right? If you go to boxes and you can go click plus, that brings up the judge feature. And uh, that's basically it. That's the, a little breeding guide. I hope you enjoyed the breeding guide. I hope it's useful. I hope it teaches you a little bit about breeding. Uh, it's really not that difficult. It is, it is fairly simple. You just need to learn the basics. And I hope you guys have a good time. I hope you get a good team running. Uh, I will have an EV guide as well. Up uh, later this week, I will have an EV guide on how to EV train your Pokemon. And um, I will do competitive battles soon. Make sure you subscribe to that. Make sure you like the... Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to that. Uh, competitive battles is going to be... It's going to be... I'm going to be in the ABL Draft League. I, have a, I will have a... Um, let's call it a draft out for that soon um, about what my team is looking like and what I do, what I got and what I'm cooking with and with that said make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it let me let me know comment if I if I forgot make sure you comment if I forgot anything because I would like to know I'd like to know if there's something I forgot I think I, I think I covered everything um, if there's other items you use, I'm not sure, but these are the main ones that you want to be using. Destiny Knot and Ever Everstone are the two main ones you want to use. Uh, I don't, I don't use personally bother with the power items, but you could. So that said, I'm, I'm ending off the video. <laughs> I hope you see you guys in my next one about EV training. So, uh, peace out.